You don't get more iconic than the Stairway to Heaven solo. But there's a second solo that no one plays, not even Paige. He never plays it. So I was like, yo, let's learn it and we're gonna be the ones to play it. So before we get too far into this one, if you guys are digging the videos, please hit the subscribe button. And we're actually running a huge sale on all of my courses, so if you wanna support the channel, what we're doing, all those links are down below, and there will be an official announcement video tomorrow, but if you wanna snag it today, it's all linked down there. So let's get to the video. Okay, so we're gonna learn the solo, but I wanna throw in one little extra tidbit here, not tidbit, but riff that Paige adds as the song goes on. So you have the iconic <laughs> that riff, but then he adds this little like, I don't know, fill on top of it. And I'm always like, it's just so cool, it's Paige. So that part there, before we get into the nitty gritty part of the solo, is just when you get to the F chord. You're gonna go first fret on the low E string, then you're gonna go third fret on the low E, slide up to fifth fret, okay? Then you go to third fret on the A, fifth fret on the A, and you slide up to seven. So it's almost like the same move twice in a row. Then you're gonna go back to five, and then three on the A string. And there you have it, that's all he's adding there. But it's so cool. So now when you get into the main solo part, now obviously Robert Plant is singing, and this part's kind of buried in the mix. So. I think that's why they choose probably not to play it. They're just like, we're gonna rock out on the chords. But it starts with this little lick. So think of this as being out of your A minor pentatonic scale. It's the same thing that Paige does the whole solo out of. So you're on uh, 10th fret of the B string. You're gonna play that twice. Then you have a little like bluesy lick here. 9th fret on the G, 8th fret on the B, and then 10th fret on the B. So. And you pull back off to that eight. Then you're gonna go back to nine, and then eight, 10 again on the B. A little bit confusing, reference the taps for that. Once you get it under your fingers, it's, it's easier to play than it is to explain, I think. Now you're gonna do another hammer on from eight to 10 on the B, and then you're gonna play 10th fret on the B by itself again. So you've got. And then comes all these unison bends. Now, I will say, there's no videos of Paige playing this. He never plays this part live. So I don't know exactly where he's playing it. So he starts down here on third fret of the B and fifth fret on the G. And you're gonna do a unison bend. So you're keeping that third fret on the B note stationary while you bend fifth fret on the G. So. So you do that first bend, you just move up a full step, fifth fret on the B, seventh fret on the G. Now on this one that I'm showing you, we're always bending the note on the G, and the B note always stays stationary. Now he does a quick little transition here. This part's tricky. Once you learn it, you're like, oh, rhythmically this is challenging, not technically. So he goes all the way up here. That one bend was a little bit sour, I'll fix that. You're gonna go eighth fret on the B, to 10th fret on the G, then a quick shift up to 10 and 12, and another quick shift to 13 and 15. So you have. Now you're gonna do this little part where it just bounces back and forth between 12 and 14. So 12 on the B to 14 on the G, and some bend, then 13 and 15. And he bounces back and forth between this one, I believe three times. And you'll notice he doesn't add, if you listen to Paige, he doesn't add vibrato on every single one. I have a really bad habit of doing that, so I'm trying to stop myself from vibratoing every single bend. He only does it on you know, very specific ones, and that's because, well, he's Jimmy Page, and he's a boss. All right, so the ending section here, when you're up at 15th fret on the B and 17th fret on the G, there's this little walk down section. So you're gonna 15 on the B, 17 on the G, bending on the G, of course. Then you're gonna go to 13 and 15. So. Now you're gonna go to 12 on the B and 14 on the G. So we have. And then you're gonna go to 15 on the B to 17 on the G. And then the final one here where he ends it, 13 on the B, 15 on the G. 
just kind of let it fade out. And I think that's going to do it for us here today, guys. If you would and you like what's going on, hit the subscribe button. Check out all the guitar courses. Like I said before, that's the main way to support the channel. And uh, I'm going to bounce on out of here, but I'm going to first end it bluesy Jimmy Page style.